I just hired a designer from Fiverr to recreate my landing page. I've been wanting to redevelop the landing page that I have so it can better display what I have to offer as a content creator along with highlighting some of my professional experiences. Really a one-stop shop where people can quickly read through to figure out who I am as a developer and as a content creator. What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lynn J. I'm a content creator and I currently work as a front-end developer as well. Hence the title of this video. But before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Fiverr. To give you a little background about the sponsor of this video, Fiverr, their mission is to change how the world works together. Fiverr is the largest marketplace for digital services in the world. It's revolutionizing the way we work and how you know it. Like for example, me working with a designer from across the country or across the world, being able to get a quality service delivered in a very timely manner. So whatever project that you have going on and whoever you want to work with, Fiverr has the freelance power to make that happen. Choose from thousands of talented professionals and then of course, find what you need to make your project happen along with growing your business with Fiverr. No matter who you are, where you're located, the size of your budget, Fiverr can provide a service to help you be successful. Fiverr connects businesses with freelancers, offering digital services that can be found in under five minutes, unbeatable prices, and 24-hour delivery. Creating an account with Fiverr is really simple. You just go to fiverr.com, select the join button on the homepage, then enter a username and password. Once you've signed in, you can use the search bar to find the type of service you need. For example, I search for a portfolio website and I also search for landing page to find a designer who could redesign my landing page for my personal portfolio site. Fiverr also makes finding the right digital service easy if you're not sure what to look for with their intuitive drop-down menus. Once you've narrowed down the freelancer you want to work with, you can simply buy their service the moment you find them or get a quote if you need a more custom service. But most freelancers will give you options to customize the delivery time. I actually really like the experience of adding a service to the checkout. It just makes the hiring experience very smooth. Make sure you check out my Fiverr page where you can see some of the best sellers for everything from web development to graphic design. Go to fvrr. And once again, CO thank you to Fiverr for Jossie. sponsoring this video. I'll make video. sure I link it down in the description box. I created this video as a more in-depth version of the video how to become a front-end developer that I did a few months ago because it got a lot of engagement. And I feel like I can make a lot more videos talking about front-end development, not only what it takes to become a front-end developer, but my experiences as a front-end developer and how I became a front-end developer. So one thing that I always recommend for anyone that wants to be a developer is to build things. And when it comes to front-end development, it's even more imperative to build things because you wanna be able to showcase your portfolio, showcase your design skills. If you have, if one of your strengths is design and you were a designer and you wanna become more of like a hybrid designer developer, or if you just want to showcase that you're really good at you know JavaScript or HTML or CSS, create some sort of project that will challenge those skill sets. One recommendation I have for someone who has no experience in front-end development or maybe you do have experience in front-end development, regardless, anyone that wants to be a front-end developer should create their own portfolio, professional portfolio site from scratch. One of the main aspects of front-end development, if not the most important aspect of front-end development is to be able to turn design into code. And I know there are some of you out there who probably don't think you're the best designer, or you may be like myself where you don't have enough time to design or redesign a website or an app, let alone program it as well. But you really just want to focus on your programming skill sets, but you really just don't know where to start. And that's where Fiverr comes into play. I'm really excited to be able to work with a designer 
I was able to get a redesign in literally like 48 hours. You can rely on using Fiverr as a tool to find a freelancer to design your next site. Being able to design at some level is important when it comes to front-end development, but the main skill set is your CSS, HTML, and JavaScript coding skills. So my goal is to take this design that the designer sent me and to be able to build it into a functional website that has a little bit of interactivity with the end user where people can, you know, send me an email, something simple like that. Okay, so now that I talked about the project that I'm working on to become a better front end web developer and how what I'm doing right now can help you become a front end developer. If you do the same thing, let's talk about some other reasons that can help you become a front end web developer. There are a few things that I did that helped me become a front end developer. I wouldn't solely call myself a front end web developer because I do some Android development as well, but my biggest strength is web development, specifically with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So the first recommendation that I have for anyone who's trying to become a front-end developer is to learn and become good at CSS and HTML. Understanding and learning how to code in CSS is absolutely imperative because CSS is an integral part of the modern web development process. Being highly effective at controlling the layout, position of elements, and presentation of website pages by separating the content from the design is a very sought after skill set. One of the advantages of knowing CSS and being good at it is that CSS has an added design flexibility and interactivity, which gives the user an immersive and more tangible experience that keeps them coming back to a website. Customizing a website with HTML only is, is barbaric. You wanna be able to create different designs for each page of your website as a developer. Outside of the design of a website, CSS helps improve the load time of a website as well. How the CSS improves the browser performance is through the browser downloading the CSS rules once and then caching them or loading all of the pages of the website. This feature comes in handy making websites work more smoothly over lower internet connections and internet speeds. For instance, when you're looking at your fantasy stats on like some fantasy website, but you may be in the mall or somewhere where there's not great internet access. Accessibility is also another driving force of CSS because of the separation between the document structure and the presentation. CSS allows the developer to have precise control over the positioning, alignment, and spacing, improving the overall experience of a website. And as you challenge yourself and take on more front-end focused tasks, you'll become better at front-end development. Websites are built off of a markup language called HTML, in which describes the structure of a web page through a series of elements that tells the browser what to display. I know that HTML can seem mundane and not very challenging at times, but becoming good at HTML, semantic HTML, knowing which tags to use that fulfill a specific role within the document can save you a lot of time, especially down the road when you may be redesigning or, or adding a JavaScript framework. You can also build a lot of really cool things which will help you build your portfolio as a front-end developer, such as newsletters, emails, customizing a templated website, you know, maybe in Squarespace or Wix or WordPress. And for the most part, most of most developers don't really care about the front end, let alone like HTML and CSS. So one thing that I'll challenge you to do is if you're maybe a full stack developer and you're not doing a lot of front end, my recommendation is to show your team and your manager that one, you're very interested in front end. And then two, when you have stories within your sprint that require front end development or redesign with HTML and CSS, Take the initiative to assign those stories to yourself so you can show your team that, hey, I like doing this and I'm good at it. So I'm a huge football fan. I've been really distracted the past few weeks with all the sports that's been on TV. And um, I'm a huge Seahawks fan. 
go Hawks, 12th man from home. But uh, comment down below your favorite NFL team. I wanted to keep this video pretty simple. I mean, I could go on and on talking about version control with Git, understanding how to design with Figma or Adobe XD, JavaScript frameworks, which is a very popular way to build web applications and mobile applications, along with some other tools that can help you with your development process. But I didn't wanna make this video 20 minutes, so I figured this would be a good place to stop. I think we talked about some really good things, turning design into code, and how you can do that is by learning HTML and CSS, and once you become good at that, you can really turn any design into code. With that being said, that concludes this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you're still here or if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate that and would love for you all to become a part of this creative community. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace. <laughs>